Uh, final question, Mr. Farage. Let me ask you this. We've talked about this quite a bit. Now, being raised in Canada, I have a lot of family in Canada. Uh, and you have two different points of view, right? That Donald Trump has hurt our standing abroad as far as uh, how we're seen as Americans, respected. And then you have another point of view, mine, where we talk about Iran, Kim Jong-un, and actually seeing uh, power uh, through strength here. When we, yeah. we, what is your opinion on that internationally? How do you think people view the United States well, right now? Well, look, we had eight years of Obama, um, who, as I say, was given the Nobel Peace Prize, was treated by the British media as the second coming of Jesus Christ, this wonderful man who'd arrived yeah. uh, and who uh, put down red lines in Syria, which once they were crossed, he didn't respond to. And America, America's status across the world shrank within the course of those eight years. What has stunned people about Trump's presidency more than any other single thing is right from the moment he got off that aeroplane in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, his first overseas visit, is the way that he's carried and conducted himself on the world stage. Do you know, when he was in Beijing, walking around the capital of China, right. he looked so at ease and so confident, I thought he was about to put a bid in to buy the place. You know, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised but, if he did. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, well, when he's finished as president, there could be Trump, Beijing, you never know. Yeah. But, no, honestly, honestly, he's achieved amazing things on the world stage. And when he speaks, people listen. And I think they also know Trump does not appease people. Yes. If Trump says, if Trump says, you're a bully and I'm going to stand up to you, those bullies swallow hard and say, hmm, this is one president who perhaps means it. Yeah. But as a result of all that, America's standing in the world is far greater than it was when he took office. Well done him. I, I, will, I will absolutely agree with that. Sometimes he almost doubles down where someone's like, well, I'm really not a bully. And he, sometimes it's justifiable. Like, well, he's not a bully. And Trump's like, no, he's a bully. I already decided. 